Right, so some of you guys asked my opinion on the iPod Touch rumors, because yes, we still have rumors about future iPods in 2021. Anyways, these leaks have been pretty interesting, and so let's delve into them, but first, make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors, and with that being said, let's just tuck in. Right, so all of this speculation regarding a new iPod Touch begun with Steve Mosser, who of course finds tidbits within Apple software and found references to a new iPod Touch. And then of course we had a few people on Twitter with alleged sources also giving us information about this iPod Touch. Namely the fact it's a massive redesign but could also launch as soon as Christmas. So yes, in December 2021, apparently we could see this as the next iPod Touch. I'm sorry, but I just have a very, very, very hard time believing this. Now, don't get me wrong, it would be nice to see a new iPod, and also the 20th anniversary of the iPod is this year. So, of course, maybe Apple's overhauling the iPod in a massive way to commemorate the 20th anniversary of this product. But let me explain why I think this is pretty unlikely. And that begins with the fact the iPod Touch does not sell in large numbers. So yes, I know it's the 20th anniversary of the iPods, and of course Apple commemorated the 10th anniversary of the iPhone with the iPhone X, but in that situation, the iPhone is Apple's biggest seller, and so of course, investing the R&D into the new design for the iPhone X is gonna pay off because they're gonna sell many devices. But iPod Touch sales are nowhere near the levels of the iPhone, and so of course, investing all this R&D into a fancy design makes no sense, because Apple's not going to be recouping any of that through the sales of this iPod. Now yes, I know some may argue that this design could push more people to buy the iPod Touch, but I would disagree because at the end of the day it's an iPod, it's an iPhone without cellular connectivity and that is a massive deal breaker because I see many kids using phones nowadays and they need a cell service and so Wi-Fi only device that's not a tablet is kind of pointless in today's world. The iPod Touch today has a very niche use case. For example, a popular one I hear is of course restaurants use the iPod to take note of an order and so for their basic use, the current design is completely fine. And that actually brings me on to my next point because the major reason restaurants use the iPod Touch is because it's pretty cheap. And this redesign is definitely gonna increase the price of this iPod Touch. And while well, judging by how major this redesign is, this could be $300, and that's way out of budget for the iPod's main market. I mean, restaurants buy this in bulk, and of course, because it's only $200, it works out to be cheaper than something like the budget iPad. But of course, once it's $300, it doesn't make a ton of sense for them to buy that, and they could just get the budget iPad instead. And as for regular customers, I don't see them buying an iPod Touch for $300 in 2021, especially when, of course, in the used market, you could get a superior iPhone, which of course is gonna be way more useful because it can actually connect to the internet outside of your house. But my final reason is the fact this alleged iPod Touch redesign is gonna be superior to the iPhone in some ways. So as you can see in these renders, there is no notch on this iPod, and yes, I know that instead it has way thicker bezels, but to the average consumer, they're going to see this and compare it to the iPhone and wonder why the way more expensive iPhones have a cutout in the screen and this $300 iPod Touch doesn't. And well, again, Apple's not going to do that. Apple wants the iPhone to look the best in the lineup. They don't care about the iPod Touch. And so they're definitely not going to make the design superior to the iPhone, in my opinion. So yeah, those are my thoughts on these pretty interesting iPod Touch rumors. Now, of course, I will be absolutely amazed if this actually happens, but I'm pretty sure this redesign is not happening. But I will say that because Steve Moss actually found references to a new iPod Touch within Apple software, that could mean Apple does plan to update the iPod Touch very soon. And well, in that case, I expect Apple to do the same thing they've been doing for years now, which of course, keep the same body, but give it a new chip. 
so maybe that's the A12. But the design definitely won't change, maybe Apple gives it new finishes at the very most, but that's about it for visual changes. Anyways, tell me your thoughts on these iPod Touch rumors in the comments below. Anyways, thank you for watching guys. Make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors. Check out the video in the card above on details regarding the M1X MacBook Pros. And on that note, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya peeps.